Hey guys, this is the Don with Overlanding Anglers and welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since we have talked about fishing or gone fishing or really done any kind of videos about fishing. So today we're gonna change that. I want to go over this. This is the Pro Level Bass Mystery Tackle Box uh, from mysterytacklebox.com. My wife signed me up for this subscription last year for my birthday, and every month I get one of these boxes in the mail, and it usually comes around this time of the month, usually the middle of the month, and it has, it's just loaded with stuff, okay? So it's gonna have hard baits, it's gonna have soft plastics, it's got hooks, it's got weights, it's got anything that you could need to go fishing, and they tailor these boxes specifically for the time of year it is to help you catch more fish. So today we're gonna go through it, see what came in the box, and uh, well, let's just do it. Let's check it out. All right, guys, now that we've got the box open, we're gonna separate everything inside into categories. And the first category we're gonna talk about today, reading material. Okay, guys, every mystery tackle box has some pretty good reading material in it. The first thing is this little card, okay? This little card's gonna tell you what is in the box. Um, it tells you the price of everything in the box, and it really kind of gives you an idea that you're getting a good deal. Uh, another thing over here has got a little QRF code. If you scan this with your phone, it's going to take you to a website. That website's going to tell you videos. You're going to have pro videos, tips and tricks, something that's going to help you get out there and catch more fish. The other thing that they include in every mystery tackle box is this. It's called the Dibble. Um, it has got more tips and tricks, a lot of things to read. Uh, here's an example here, just some, some tips for catching cold water bass. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people, they stop fishing in the winter time because they think the fish don't bite. Well, they do, you just have to work a little harder. So uh, this has a lot of really good information in it and I won't give too much away there. But now comes the most important part uh, of this mystery tackle box and that is the sticker. Look at that right there. It's perfect for your fishermen and your hunters alike. Um, every mystery tackle box has got a pretty cool sticker in it. I don't know about you guys, but I always get really excited anytime I buy something for the Forerunner. Um, uh, you guys get something for your Overland vehicle. What does it do? It always comes with a sticker and, you know, I've got all my stickers. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I still get excited like a kid when I get a sticker. That is the end of the first category of reading material. Let's move on to the next one. Hard plastics. <laughs> All right, now just about every tackle box that I've gotten from them has had at least one hard plastic in it. Uh, and this one is no exception, it has got two. So uh, let's see here, we have got the Junior Scout from Guggen Squad. It's a nice little jerk bait here in a sexy shad. So it's kind of a white, we've got a little bit of red there on the underbelly with some yellow, some silver and some blue on the top. Uh, this one dives about three to five feet. I really like stuff from Guggen Squad. I don't know if you guys have had any experience with them, but I've caught a lot of fish using their hard plastics. Um, I haven't really had any issues with any of their stuff. So I'm really excited to get this and go take it out and get some fish. The second hard plastic we've got in here, it looks like Team Arc LP38 Sinking Lipless Crankbait. Uh, let's get a little closer there so you can see the colors. That's a, a shiny blue with a yellow streak and a silver belly. So this is going to be sinking. Uh, we might have some issues with this around some local ponds because we've got a lot of brush down in the bottom of those ponds. Um, if we get out there and we throw it, as long as we keep it off the bottom, um, I know these ponds pretty well. So I, I know where a lot of the heavier, thicker brush is, but should be okay. Uh, but we'll try that out. This might be something more of a lake, but... Looks like low pitch sound when retrieving. So this this could be something that, that we could catch some fish on. I've had a lot of luck with lipless cranks, especially in the winter time. All right, that's all the hard plastics that we have in this box. Let's move on to uh, terminal tackle. We're gonna look at some hooks now. All right guys, so let's look at some terminal tackle. We've got some hooks in here. 
Uh, real quick, some uh, Daiichi World's Sharpest Hooks, just like some offsets, uh, size three. So it's a little smaller than what I usually use for largemouth. I usually use a four, uh, but uh, it'll still catch fish. And um, maybe if you get something a little smaller, it won't just completely avoid your hook. So there's one. And we've also got a little skipping jig in here. Uh, this is going to be a Reflex by Excite Baits. Little 3 8 ounce skipping jig. It's going to be a magic crawl. So it's got that nice natural pond color. Uh, a little bit of green. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Uh, a little bit of blue in there. But dark. It's got a nice little weed guard on it. So that could be something that we could uh, have fun with. All right. Let's move on to our next one. Our next category is going to be soft plastics. All right, now in this box, we do have some soft plastics. We've got three packs here. So the first one is going to be this uh, Biwa Fishing Performance Warax Hyper Action Crawl. It's a four inch crawl. Uh, looks like there's six of them in here. French design for tournament anglers. Well, that could be something good. Uh, this color in here, it looks like it's kind of a brown, another natural color, a brownish green. Uh, we do have some blue glitter on there uh, that's gonna help. So this this might be something that, going back a category here, that we could easily pair together. So this could be something that we could easily skip up under, under some brush near the edge of the water, maybe catch some fish that way. Um, so that, that we'll work with. Uh, we've also got some four inch jerk minnows, jerk minnow juniors, excuse me. These are going to be from Kalen's tournament tested baits. Uh, it's going to be, looks like just bait fish, little split tail there, uh, and a minnow color silver bottom, kind of a bluish, bluish on the top. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, but these have got little split tails. So just a little swim bait, just a little something that we can throw that might flutter and get a little, uh, little attention. Something that might pair well with a swim jig uh jig head so that's something that i do have in my arsenal that we can throw last but not least guys i actually really like these these are weston they're scandinavian uh looks like but these ring crawls uh in a watermelon red color so kind of a brownish with a lot of red flakes man i've had a lot of luck with these uh the only downside to these is you only get five in a package that's eh, kind of a sad deal, but these things are really, really great. Uh, they work really, really well, and I really like these. So I'm looking forward to getting these, uh, getting these out and getting them in the water. Let's see if we can go catch some fish. Hopefully, we can go do that pretty soon. Well, all right, guys, that is everything that came in uh, the December Mystery Tackle Box. Once again, this is the Pro Bass Edition. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the baits that they included. Let me know what you think of Mystery Tackle Box if you get that subscription. Um, if you guys want to see more of these videos, uh, I do plan on doing some more. So we'll go through January's box when I get it. Hopefully we can get out and get these baits in the water and see how many fish we catch. Uh, until then, you guys have a great week. Keep exploring and always have tight lines. Bye.